What's up guys, Jay Smooth here, bringing you some gameplay of Dark Souls 2. I just started playing this for the PC, maxed out graphics, I even have a mod going on with it to enhance the graphics. Anyway, you guys can watch me die in the background while I talk about Donald Sterling of the NBA Los Angeles Clippers team. This guy, apparently, uh, is a racist, <laughs> a pretty hardcore one. Uh, long story short, he has a mistress uh, who's black, or at least half black, and he was talking to her, and she recorded this conversation, of him saying to her, why do you have to associate yourself publicly with other black people? Uh, because she had posted pictures online with her and, like, you know, another black person or black people, her friends, whatever you want to say. Uh, and he hated this, apparently. Uh, he had a lot of racial slurs and remarks. So the NBA, and all their infinite wisdom, because of course they had to, uh, in put down the maximum, uh, you know, punishment that they could, which is a $2.5 million fine, and banning him from all NBA, like everything, like, he can go to any Clippers games or practices, he can't go to any NBA games at all, uh, which makes me really happy, and it makes a lot of people happy, <clears throat> all over the league, everyone was happy about it. But this isn't the first time he's done stuff like this. Like, he's always been in trouble. And, like, uh, even Baron Davis, who played for the Clippers a few years back, said that uh, Sterling, you know, publicly in front of him, you know, uh, was kind of racist towards him and gave him a hard time when he didn't give other people a hard time. So it's not like it's the first time that he's shown this attitude, I guess you could say. But finally he got caught in it. There's actual evidence and proof. So this was the maximum punishment that, uh, you know, the NBA could give him. And, uh, you know, they, they're they also pushing him to sell the team. Like, they're trying to force him to, which they can't really force him to sell. But, you know, it's pretty much at this point. You kind of have to. And also, which is kind of crazy, like a day or two after the ban, uh, it was announced that Sterling, the owner of the Clippers, is also battling cancer. Like, that's weird, man. <laughs> it's like, I guess that's karma, you know? Like, you, you do all this racist stuff, and you own all these, uh, you know, you own this team, all this money, and you're racist, and then you, it gets found out. And uh, also, you, so you get banned, and you get fined. You're, they're trying to kick you off the team, basically, by selling it. And then you have cancer. Like, that's insane. That's what happens, man. I mean, it, you know, you had a, he had a mistress in the first place. If he wouldn't have had a mistress, I guess the word wouldn't have got out. But I'm glad he did because no owner should be uh, racist in any way, shape, or form in the NBA. Especially when it's, you know, uh, the most of the percentage of the players are, you know, African-American. I mean, it's 2014, guys. People that are still racist, I don't get it, you know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand how people can still be racist in this day and age, but anyway, uh, I'm happy that he got banned, and hopefully he gets he actually sells the team, uh, but we'll see, you know. Anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think uh, he deserved it? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you do, but uh, just, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and uh, as always, I'll see you on the next video. Later, guys.